Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel, Dale Chanel's 40s World, where we finna take off and ride the waves this morning, okay? Happy Sunday. Hope you had a blessed Sunday morning. Hope you got into that church or you celebrated and praised the Lord at home. However you got down, just know the Lord for yourself. Don't let nobody ever ever be able to tell you about the Lord and his good works that he has done for you. You can't find it in a church. You can't find it in nobody else. All thing you can find it is through you, through the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? I just want to throw that praise out there. Know the Lord for yourself. Okay? Because you are the vessel. You are the church. And don't let nobody tell you differently. But let's get on into this story, guys. Yes! Black Atlanta Star is my go-to for Entertainment news. And I have a lot of other ones I use, but I do like Atlanta Black Star, honey. They keep me on point. And they're talking about my sister. My sister. And the only reason I'm calling her my sister is because she's uh, in my race. And I happen to have the same last name growing up as Williams. Yes, honey. And I got a chance to meet her grandfather, Jose Williams. Right, right, honey. Very charismatic man, but he had a funny side about him. I was working for Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes, I think I was about 18 at the time, and honey, he just thought he could get some free meals off of me, and I gave it to him. I gave it to him, honey, because he was a politician running around him, and he was doing community service, working for the people. Yes, black power, okay? And he just had to do his thing. I respected him, but honey, he loved his juice. He loved that juice in a cup, and I ain't going to go no further with that. Those who can hear me, hear me. Those who can see, see, okay? But he was fun, eh? But like I say, I'm a part of the Williams clan through generation through generation. Yes, born a Williams, honey. Even though my name is supported by my mother's family now, I just thought I would give her some shine, all right? Had another name, too, when I was married. But we ain't going to go into that. If you get into my daughter's birth certificate or whatever, you would know she wasn't born Star Trek craziness, but I ain't telling you to go investigate her, okay? But I'm saying I was married at one point of time. Loved my ex-husband at the time. Still have Christian love for him now. But what I'm saying is I was known as many names out there, Okay. But anyway, getting back to what we came here for, and that was a story, okay? Not a story on me, but a story on Portia Williams, okay? Black Star, Atlanta Black Star, that is, brought it out, okay? Love their selections of commentary that they give me from day to day or whenever I want to click on them. And I'm like, ooh, that sparked my interest. I need to talk about that, okay? Okay. But we'll go on into the article. It was written by none other than Kirsten Willis. She must be their head journalist over there because she is not. This is not the only time that I am covering an article that she wrote. And I'm telling you, she knows how to write. She knows how to get your attention and she knows how to get in your memory banks to make you want to go back and say, oh, yeah, she did that story. I need to check her out again on Atlanta Black Star. So I'm giving her kudos. Shout her out. She knows what she's doing, and that's why she's probably still gainfully employed with Atlanta Black Star. Yes! Okay, but let's talk, let's talk, let's talk about this story she put out. Okay? She titled it, He Wasn't Lying, Though. That's a little slang. It ain't correct English, but you know where we're going with it. Okay? And you fully understand it. She says, He Wasn't Lying, as her title. Though, Portia William claps back at a troll, derails at the Fans say they agree with the user, meaning they agree totally heartfelt with the troll. <laughs> okay? And after reading the article, I'm like, okay, but Portia, baby, you set yourself up. You can't dock your station <clears throat> and think everybody's just going to roll with you and not have an opinion back when you misjudge somebody. Now, we like you, Portia. Some of us love you, Portia. But, you know, we got to call a file a file, okay? But I think you just got in your feelings. You didn't know what to say. So you said your upper chest. <laughs> like, it didn't even go with whatever the conversation was coming out to be. Okay? You just went sidebar and went totally left on your response, huh? That's just like you thinking the um, Underground Railroad train tracks are there underneath 
whatever building, and it's a train dock ready to take you anywhere under the Underground Railroad. Okay, now I ain't gonna never forget about that. That was poor choice, and your mama Diane should have whopped you in the head, okay? Because that set us back several, several decades <laughs> when you made that statement. But you, you, you a baby. You were nervous, I guess. You were just coming on to Real Housewives of Atlanta. You didn't know how to maneuver your way. So we know you're navigating uh, pretty much uh, okay now. Um, and we're giving you as much leeway as we possibly can. But again, when you don't have no good combat portion, it's best just to not say nothing. Okay, that's just like if I get in a fuss fight with somebody and I ain't got no good combat. I'm like, nah, I wouldn't do it, but it would probably be in my memory breaks to just throw out with your mama. <laughs> When we were in school, grammar school, and a person was Joan. It was called Joan at the time. Now y'all have said roasting or getting you together. But it was always Joan and back in my days of living in the early ages of the Stone Age, how y'all want to put us. And I probably put my parents there too when I was young, fun, dumb, and, and trying to have some fun, okay, before I know the consequences of my actions will come back to haunt me and bite me in the butt, okay? But, you know, when you get into these little petty arguments at school and somebody joning better than what you giving back to them as a response and, for you, you, you know, you get so caught up, you get so mad, you be like, well, your mama... <laughs> I mean, it had nothing to do with what y'all were fussing about, but that was your only combat. So that's what Portia did. Instead of her just saying to the troll, you know, something slick back or nothing at all, she said, your upper chest. <laughs> I was like, what a way to go wrong. What a way to go all the way left or all the way south, Portia. But let's get into the commentary so some people will know what I'm talking about. All right. It's written, like I said, uh, by Kirsten Willis. It was written on July 26th. Let's get on into it. I think this was this previous Friday, this past Friday. Okay, it says Portia, Wish uh, excuse me, Portia Williams recently enjoyed a trip to the nail spa with the fellow new mom and bestie, Shamia Moore. Glad they got back together. You know, they had words at first. Portia, like I said, was kind of having her head filled uh, up with a lot of air, and she wasn't really understanding friendship at the time but I'm like I said I'm glad she got back maybe it was the babies um that she had and her best friend had and they came together and you know reunited their uh friendship which is a good thing but anyway it goes on to say she was with her bestie Shem Shamil Moore but a photo she snapped from the friend's date went left. Okay. Williams, who just asked fans. Now, see, Portia, when you ask, when you open yourself up for criticism or advice, you might not get what you're expecting to get back from your response of asking people in your chat or in your comment section. You remember, you asked for it. They didn't come for you. You put it out there for them to come to you. But anyway, going back to the article, Williams, who just asked fans for advice on how to resurrect or resuscitate her thinning edges, was treated to getting some pampering by Morton on Winston. Okay? She went on her, you know, page asking for the advice. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star got lots of comments on her wavy, ombre, honey blonde unit. Okay? So damn beautiful. Love the hair, too. Okay, that was one commenter. Another one said, you look stunning, honey. You look stunning, honey. Uh, the other one said, gorgeous, love the hair. However, one of the fans did not feel the love and said as much in the comment section below. She said, sis, your wig's been sitting like hats lately. <laughs> now, that was funny when I read it, and it's still funny when I go back and reread it. Okay. I'm like, because I'm picturing in my head how, you know, some hair, whether it's a wig or, you know, some adjustable extensions or whatnot, okay, don't fit you on your head. Be on slid to the left or slid to the right, but not on point. And that's, you know, that's how hats are sometimes when they're kind of loose on your head. 
shoes, especially baseball caps, just depending on what you're doing, that hat, that hat to slide all the way to the back, if you know what I made, okay? Or you could cock it to the side and be like, I don't know, but it may be funny to some people and you don't know how you look because you ain't got a mirror in front of you 24-7 to adjust when you need to, when you know you're looking crazy. But anyway, somebody said, since your wig's been sitting like hats lately, okay? Oh, with a crying emoji. All right. Then it says, Williams, however, did not hold back in her clap back. She said, your upper body. <laughs> Lord, I'm like, poison, come with it. Come with something better. Because I never just like saying your mama. <laughs> but anyway, the remarks referenced in, in an Instagram live video from rapper Young uh, Miami, who remarked on a fan's big body but small voice when he asked, what big What's big besides your Chanel or Chanel purse, she said. And then she said your upper body. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. And then if you go to her Instagram page and she hadn't deleted it, uh, it was from Jess Nicole, J-A-S-N-I-C-H-O-L-E. She might have it on her uh, feed, Instagram feed, because Portia may delete it. Then Portia may just not give a damn and just kept it on now. You know what I'm saying? She probably was feeling that way. But if it was a live, if you didn't record a screenshot, it's gone anyway, if I'm understanding it correctly, because I never go live on Instagram. I'm not that up to date savvy. I kind of like my phone. I kind of like my computer. I get on it live where y'all can see me. You know, for those who don't know who I am, who have never seen me before, I have to reintroduce myself sometimes. And I'm not ashamed of what I look like, how I look. Okay, because I love me self. I love me some Deb Chanel's for the X world. I love me some Deb. Okay, and ain't nobody going to be able to change that thought of thinking. Okay? Uh, but anyway, going back, that's my sidebar. I get into it like that sometimes. I, I, I weave and dip and dab into the conversation and the articles I'm trying to bring to y'all. I, I, you know, because I'm opinion, opinionated like that. When I see something, I might have to speak on it because I have experience in that section. So I can only give you what I've learned. OK, and hopefully you can go and do better, be better. OK, but anyway, uh, it goes back to the session where it says, yet the Instagram user was not alone in her assessment of William's hair, meaning they found some validity in what that troll she calls or a uh, fan or however you want to view her. She was just speaking her truth and Portia wasn't ready for it. That's why she said your upper body. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That girl. That, I, I know Diane be cracking up on her own daughter sometimes. Because, <laughs> I mean, sometimes my daughter be like, out there, you know, doing her thing. <laughs> I be like, girl, why you say that? Now, you know they will write about some of that stuff. <laughs> you know, she got to take her medicine from her mama. Because she know her mama ain't going to leave her wrong. I ain't going to tell her nothing the wrong. And when she go back, sometimes she have to laugh herself. And that's when I know I raised a good girl. <laughs> You gotta admit, you gotta admit, you gotta stand in your own shit. You gotta admit your flaws, deal with them, and move on. Okay, but going back, uh, but just throw her a little shout out if you like commentary, and she does give it to you. She's my little seed. Her name is Star J Craziness. Look her up. She's very well solidified in these YouTube streets. She don't do a lot of drama, just like her mama, because I taught her well. You pray for them folks, <laughs> okay, and you keep it moving. Uh, and I just mean you pray for them in a good way. You don't pray for their downfall. You don't ever do that on nobody. Okay? Let the Lord handle it. Let him see and let him convict them. But you don't go and be messy like that. You pray for them. You say, Lord, I can't be with them. I can't uh, sit at the same table. But you don't mean them no harm. Bless them. Bless them. Okay? Because God wants us to love our enemies as well as our neighbors. Okay? Love them all the same because he loved us. That's why he shed his blood for us. Okay? To redeem us. To do right. We know better, we do better, okay? But moving on from that session, hopefully y'all got y'all spirituality on in those few seconds. Deal with it, get it, get what you can get out of it and use it and move on, okay? But going back to this commentary, this article that was written by the lovely Kristen Willis, okay? We're going to go on back. It says she had people chiming in that, yes, Portia, <laughs> the wigs haven't been looking right. And we give it to you, baby. You got a new baby girl. And that's all your time and attention need to be focused on her, making sure she's grown properly, she's looking right, she's fed, she's happy, and she got her little spirituality going on, okay? Who you want to see her till she gets in and start developing her own attributes and contributing to the world for the better, Okay? So if your wig is a little, you know, 
shift it to the side. Just straighten it up and go on about your bed and the girl is a pull off. Or better yet, do yourself a favor. Take all that extension and wigs out for a while. You just had a baby. You just shared a lot of your uh, characteristics and uh, biological makeup uh, to your daughter. You know, all those genes, all this stuff she was feeding, taken away from you and you weren't putting it back because you're getting older. You're not getting younger. The shit don't just replenish on its own like that anymore. So, you know, you're going to lose a lot. But with health, diet, and exercise, I guess you can get it back, okay? But, you know, wigs and extensions, they put a lot of stress on your hair. So you might need to go naked for real. Take all that stuff out. Not saying it's not a good thing because people, we, we need to use it. Sometimes we get lazy. We don't want to do nothing to our hair. But wash it, plait it up, or braid it up, and, and put something else on top of it. It's called protective styling, okay? You know about it. Of don't act. You know you weren't born with all that European hair slicking all straight and stuff and a little wavy here it's all manufactured it's made baby so my advice to you if you really want to uh get them edges to grow back go natural at least for a year okay you beautiful you can pull it off baby you can pull it off don't be ashamed you know you weren't born with all that darn hair hanging down your butt to your butt girl get real it can happen though but it takes a lot of time and attention and, hey, you just want to protect the style. So if you want your edges to grow back when they're getting thin like that, unless you got a medical problem that your hair's just going to thin early anyway, and there's nothing you really can do. But my advice to you, just wear your natural hair, and you're going to see that growth come back around them edges and be flowing. Then you can go back to your regular scheduled program and put on your wigs, weave, and anything else you don't develop for money, okay? For profitable gain. But that was just my spiel. My advice, take it, leave it. Doesn't matter to me. I just know I had to freely give it to you, okay? With no harsh intentions, but just giving it to you straight from a mother to a mother, okay? All right, moving back on, okay? We got, um, but the commentator didn't lie. Her wig's been looking funny lately. Her wig a little high is what somebody said screaming but he wasn't lying though and then another person said i love portia but yeah that wig didn't look good at the angle in that picture she has she has bomb ass wigs but that ain't it <laughs> And like I said, sometimes when you're not feeling well, you rush, you, you're occupied with something else, you just want to throw the wig on or whatever. It just is what it is. And if you don't really secure it, it's going to move. It's going to shift. It's going to probably fall off your head if you don't catch it. All right. I speak from experience. I know what I'm talking about. All righty. Okay. Going back to the article, it says, but it's true. I love Portia, but the fan was right. A few outright felt the clap back didn't make much sense. Her upper body been sitting like a hat. At least make the clap back make sense. I just want to say, Portia, don't just get joned out or read for a fifth and you come back with some weak ass, your mama <laughs> or your upper body. No, baby, that ain't going to work. That's not going to work, okay? No, it has to kind of coincide what you're talking about or being on point, what you're being relevant. The, the situation being relevant, okay? And, and you got to stay focused on what you're talking If you're talking about shoes, you're joining shoes or you're joining somebody's body, stay in that same similarity. Don't go and say, we're going to talk about this river. You look like a well of a river or you look like waterfalls. You know, because uh -uh, you, when you have to think about that and find an analogy, it's too much, okay? We're going to just say, no, nah, you didn't know what the hell you were talking about and you should just shut your mouth <laughs> pretty much. But anyway, the clapback just didn't make no sense. I agree wholeheartedly with that. And then it says, uh, perhaps the Real Housewives stars wigs are sitting a little differently on her head lately because she's trending to her natural hair, or she's tending to her natural hair. After giving birth to PJ in March, Williams suffered from what? Many moms do postpartum hair shedding. She used her daughter's official Instagram account to reach out to other moms for tips on how to get her baby hairs to grow back. Okay, so I've had to hack PJ's page because I know a lot of amazing mommies follow her. So help me. My edges have fallen out after giving childbirth. I heard it would happen, but I didn't know it would have snatched mine. Why, Portia? You, you, you in another uh, civilization? You in another group of women, women that have had uh, moms, are you that, have you put yourself on that of a high pedestal that it could not happen to you? Come on, Porsche, you're being very naive. All right, that's my pun intended, my opinion in this article. Getting back to the article, it says, what can I do to get them back, guys? I need real mommy tips and how 
and how do y'all wear y'all hair until they came back, William said. Now, I already told you, Portia, go natural, okay? Just like you say, go naked hair, go natural with your real hair. You're going to find it. And anything, you ain't got to necessarily be talking to mommies. Talk to your physician. Talk to your OBGYN or talk to your primary care physician now. I'm sure they can give you some good advice. You know, everything is not needed to put on social media about what you're going through. Unless you want to make a statement, you want to bring awareness to it. And sometimes things are already out there. I understand that. But hey, you set yourself up for a baby. You went and asked on your baby's PJ's platform. Then you came on your platform. So they both collided. So deal with the aftermath. Okay, be a woman. Be a woman, Portia. Stop that mess. Okay, getting back to the article. It said, um, the star has been given lots of advice. And some mentioned she should avoid hairstyles that cause tension on her hairline. And that's basically what I said, y'all. I'm like, Portia, 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 Portia. Okay, I don't need you to be acting ugly, especially as when uh, Pilla grows up a little bit and she understands about social media and statements that are being made. I mean, I want you to be the best mama, so you can't be out here clowning folks and telling people they up about it. <laughs> you supposed to be better. You know better, Portia. We want you to do better. You're on a very prestigious type platform. It's made a drama feel uh, reactions and uh, entertainment, but I mean, do your best. Do your best so your daughter can follow. Maybe not so in your footsteps, but she can see you as an entrepreneur, and she can say, "Well, hey, my mama took an idea and went with it. Then I could be my own boss too. I don't necessarily have to work for somebody." But then again, if she wants to be in a career field where uh, she has to be uh, in a professional setting, you know, like say she want to be a doctor, lawyer, school teacher. Um, engineer, whatever her sights are set on, you know, she's going to have to know how to do, how to um, navigate through both waters, being an entrepreneur, as well as being a, a worker of somebody else's entity or organization. Okay, I'm just giving you what I got, <laughs> what I wanted to talk about, what sparked my interest. And I tell you, Atlanta Black Star, get into it. They be having some wonderful, wonderful commentary that should spark your interest from time to time. I'm not saying they break out a story every day. No, it ain't that kind of party. But then I don't know what a uh, magazine article or vlogging website does that. You know, you get one, it, it trends, and you try to do your best with covering the story. But what I'm saying, they're one of my reputable people that I go to to break my entertainment news. And I'm proud of them, okay? I'm proud of them. Hope y'all like this video. We'll be back with a few more this uh, Sunday. Have a wonderful day because it looks like it's going to rain. So I don't know. I know I have to go grocery shopping. I have to do a little bit more stuff around the house that I don't get to tend to because I attended a funeral yesterday of a family member. So, uh, yeah, it kind of threw me back because I had to put that in my uh, everyday schedule that's normally not there. So y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. Be blessed. Continue to watch my videos. Continue to subscribe. Like, 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 like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, 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 like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share my videos, okay? Tell everybody about me. Let's blow up my channel, okay? But I did have to come back with another video just talking about this Equifax breach man or whatever and the little... um what do you call it, incentives they're giving you. So check out that video. It may become something you want to be a part of. I mean, I know I put my claim in, but uh, like I said, I just like to give money uh, away, not from my pocket to yours, but if I find out ways to get money and it's legal, I want to share it with everybody because like I said, I'm a giver. I'm always looking to help other people if I can, okay? If I can drop wisdom on you or give you advice on how to get this done and it won't come out anything or how to get something, you know, I'm going to be there for you because I like to share. I like to pick somebody up when I'm going up. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the way it should be. Everybody can eat. Nobody has should have the a monopoly on any given field or any given subject. Everybody should be able to break out and do their own thing on a smaller scale or a larger scale. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. And the poor will always be among us. Treat them nice. Treat them with care because you never know where you might have to come and be in their shoes. Okay, am I preaching today? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But anyway, y'all have a blessed day and you know I'll be back. I don't know when today, but I'll be back with another video. Okay? Be blessed. See you next video. Bye-bye.